everyone. So it is the first day of September, which means it is time for me to do my August favorites. And this is going to be anything ranging from beauty products, which I'm going to start off with because this is like my makeup channel. So I'm going to start with beauty products. And then I'm going to go into some other things that I've really been liking this month, like my new puppy. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so the first thing I'm loving, I have a primer and it is called Studio Gear Prime Objective and it was for oily skin, it was perfect, it was $30 but it lasted me six months, so that is totally unbeatable. And I bought this and then someone asked me to do a review on the Sally Hansen Natural Beauty Luminizer Face Primer and I never really gave it the time of day because I used this so much and I was so in love with it. Well, I ran out of this and I don't know what day I Twittered about it. But it must have been a little while ago because I know I've been using this for about two weeks now. And the reason I never really used it was one, because I was using that one. And also it has an awful smell. And I'm not just saying like, it kind of smells bad. Like, oh my gosh, I would not put it on my face because it smelled so bad. But I didn't have a primer for one day. And I was like, you know, just use it. And then you'll go to Ulta and you can buy new studio gear. I used it and it smelled bad, but I was like, you've got to use it. you got to suck it up. And now I'm using it every day and I absolutely love it. it um, since it's Sally Hansen, do you hear the dogs in the background? I don't know if you do. They're barking at the mailman or something. What are they barking at, Teddy? What are they barking at? So this is only, I think, $7. It might even be like 4 but I think it's $7. And I got mine at Ulta. Um, it was in the Sally Hansen section with like the nails, but it is a luminizing face primer. Um, so it was really inexpensive. It doesn't come with that much. It has 13.5 grams, whereas this one has 28 grams. So this has about double, but $30 versus $7, well, I guess $30 versus $14 because two of these equals one of those. $30, $14, that's about half of it. And the only difference is that this one smells really, really bad. But um, you can't like smell it on your face. And after you put it on, you can't. It's like the first time you pump it out and you go to like put it on your face, you're like, oh my gosh, what does that smell? And then it just goes away. You know, you're used to it. You're like, okay, cover your nose. you got to pump out your primer. But yeah, so this actually is a favorite, even though it smells bad. So I have a new foundation routine. I feel like I switch it up every month. And August's foundation routine, I used the MAC Studio Moisture Tint, which is the um, tinted moisturizer that MAC just came out with. And I'm in the color medium dark. I don't look very medium dark. But apparently I'm in the cover me color medium dark. So I put the primer on. Then I put this. Then I put on the Dream Matte Mousse Primer. And I'm number Nude Light 4. And this is a drugstore foundation. It's about $7. A lot better than my $30 Studio Tech Primer. Which I had to replace monthly because I ran out of it so fast. Um, so this is a lot better. So this, then this, and then concealer, and powder, and all that stuff. But tutorial on my new foundation routine coming soon. But I really like it. You can see it gives me a really pretty finish. Okay, the blush that I've been reaching for all month. And when I say all month, I feel like I've used it every day of the month. Seriously. Unless I did a tutorial using another color, this is all I used. And it is Plum Foolery by MAC. It's just this gorgeous, dark plum color. It was actually the first color blush I ever got from MAC because it was one of Elle's favorites and she took me to MAC my first time you know and I was like I want to get a blush and she was like this is my favorite and I was like that is so dark look at that but I have it on right now and it's really not that dark and I really love it so this is I think my third one of this so shows how much I love it. Okay so that's it for face now on to eyes. Um, you all know that Cliché Cosmetics Eye Primer is my favorite eye primer in the entire world. Um, it is so much better than Urban Decay Primer Potion and Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, I like it more than MAC Paint Pots. It is a lot less expensive. So when I put this on and then I put an eyeshadow on, it makes it 100 times more vibrant. It keeps it on all day long. And I'm talking like from 7 in the morning to 10 o'clock at night. It is. It looks the exact same. Also, if you mess up, I know with like Too Faced Shadow Insurance, if you mess up, you can't really fix it with your finger if it got on the primer. This, you can totally fix, and then it just kind of sets after a little while, and then it won't move anymore. 
but I'm really liking the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin. It is the colored one. I don't like Urban Decay because I don't like the shape of the bottle and how you have to cut it and get the extra out, but I'll do a tutorial on how I get my extra primer potion out. But I use this, and when I do use this, I use it over the Cliché Cosmetics Eye Primer, so I just act like this is a base, and I'll just show you the color. It's right there. So Elle actually got this for me, and thank you, Elle, so much. Um, it's just a really, really pretty base, so I like to use that underneath of my eyeshadows. So my absolute favorite eyeliner in the whole, whole entire world is L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Liner Intense in the color, oh, Carbon Black. Um, maybe that's why it says Carbon Black on it. Um, but it looks like this, and it is only a couple dollars. I think it's like 4 or $6. I got mine at Ulta, but you can get it at any drugstore. And it has this felt tip eyeliner pin that makes putting on eyeliner so easy. Eyeliner, especially liquid liner, has never been so easy. So I am in love with this i will never use another black eyeliner i feel on my top of course i use a pencil on the bottom just because i don't like liquid on the bottom but love 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 this of course i talked about this in last month's favorites and this still hasn't run out and i feel like i use a lot of um mascara so it should have run out but it totally has a lot more in it and it is the maybelline pulse perfection vibrating mascara that's 12 dollars at any drugstore or a real well wherever you're going um so yeah um i've already talked about this in probably like every video i've done for like the past two months but still in love with it makes my lashes look super long okay and then the next thing that i've been loving for my eyes and, I, and i've only really liked this the past like um half of the month like around the 15th to the 20th i started being obsessed with these and they are pigments oh my gosh i put up a video yesterday on the many different uses of pigments if you haven't seen it i'll put a link over in the sidebar so that you can go watch it but this is mutiny and it is my favorite one and it sold out online i'm sorry so i put the video up yesterday and they still had some and then they sold out and i feel bad because a lot of people are going to want to get that pigment after watching my video but it's going to be sold out yada 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 so i'm sorry um maybe you can find it somewhere else i don't know but maybe your Mac still has some in stock and online just sold out. Maybe they'll get them back. I don't know. I think they were limited edition. But this is Mutiny, and it is my favorite one. And then also my second favorite one is Milk, and it sold out too. Um, but then I also am in love with Push the Edge, which is just a deep, dark purple. It is the prettiest purple ever. Um, and, yeah, they still have this one as of now. Watch them not have it. But one that I'm wearing on my lid today, and I'm kind of in love with it, is Melon. And I only have this tiny little jar that I got in the um, Little Darlings collection that came out over Christmas. And they had these tiny little jars, and there's hardly any left. It's, like, all stuck to the sides. But if you actually look down in there, like, I have to stick a tiny little brush all the way in there and, like, dig some out. So I'm going to get a full size of Melon. But I haven't ordered it yet, and I'm probably going to order it before I put this video up so that people aren't like, oh, I'll go order melon too. And then it sells out and Blair doesn't get melon because I really want melon. Um, so I have melon on the lid over Rubenesque paint pot. I put a pretty big dent in this. I'm in love with this paint pot, my favorite paint pot ever, and it looks so pretty. Look at that color. It's gorgeous, especially for back to school. And then the last makeup product is a lipstick. I feel like this lipstick I have been reaching for all the time because it goes really well with Plum Foolery um, lip, um, lip gloss. No, Plum Foolery blush. And this is Captive Lipstick, and it looks like this. It's really, really, really dark. All right, so basically what I do is I just put a couple of little dots. I don't do the whole, like, rub it, rub it. I just kind of dot it and pat it. And so there's barely any on there, and then I rub it out with my fingers. And then over top of it, I put Bow Lip Gloss, which is a brown. Yes, but it is so pretty over top of this. So that's what I have on right now. Um, last beauty product is the perfume. And this is Can Can by Paris Hilton. I have the other Paris Hilton perfume, and I don't like it. But this one, oh my gosh, it smells so good. 
yum. Oh, Pup's like, what did you just spray on me? I sprayed Can Can. Yes, I did. Okay, so that is it for the makeup products. So now my favorites of August that are not makeup products. And my number one favorite is my new puppy. Look at him. Hey. Oh, you were hyper when I started the video, but I put him on my lap while I film. And he, like, falls to sleep. He has little bald spots on his head. It's kind of cute. Maybe he has alopecia, like that girl's horse on the OC. <laughs> so at night, he sleeps either on my chest or my neck. And Rue sleeps, like, Rue always sleeps in the same place, my other dog. Um, I sleep, like, on my side with my legs, like, crooked, you know? And he sleeps, like, in the crook of my legs in a circle. And then this pup is, like, right here. And I'm on my side. And we, we love each other. He's always so unhyper on videos, but right before I start filming, he's like bouncing off the walls and I like can't get him to sit down. And then I put him on my lap and he just falls to sleep. I guess that's what puppies do. Um, I named him Teddy. Yeah, I hope you guys like that name. Lollipop26 really inspired me to name him Teddy. Um, I kind of wanted to name him Spike also uh, because I feel like that's a name that is only for like really, really big bad dogs. And I was like, you're going to be a big bad dog. So let's name you Spike. But then I decided on Teddy because it's so much cuter. Um, a couple other things that I am loving right now are outfit of the day videos. Um, I love when people put up outfit of the day videos. I feel like I don't have time to put them up. But I'll do a really quick one right now. I'm just wearing this purple top from Forever 21. Oh, this earring's backwards. This way. Um, these rose colored earrings that kind of match the top from Charlotte Russe. A ring from Glitzy Glam, which that is another one of my favorites, rings. I'm wearing this Dooney and Burke watch. Um, I feel like I never get the chance to wear this watch. Like, I haven't worn it in years. I used to love wearing it when I was younger, but um, it's kind of like Kitty. It has, like, a heart. If you can see that, it's, like, upside down. But, yeah, it's, like, rainbow colors. Um, but I felt like it matched me. They said they're purple and rose, and those are, like, the colors in this shirt. Um, and I'm just wearing Citizens of Humanity jeans and some rose-colored um, ballet flats. So a couple of other favorites are candles. I'm in love with candles. This is actually Juicy Couture by Candles by Victoria. And it is a pink glitter candle. How cool is that? It smells so good. What do you think? He says, I think I want to eat that. No! Oh, he's hyper now. He says, that smells like food. What now? Did that smell like food? Did it? Are you hyper now? No. He says, give me that candle. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd the food go? Food went over here. Yeah. He loves that. Okay, so that's it for the August favorites. I hope you guys liked it, and I will talk to you later. Bye.